baby. It's Andreas. Don't fuck with the boss. Hello? Yeah, Andreas. I... No, sure, that's fine. I'll be right there. Tucking my shoe, so there's no point robbing me. Hello, qual é? Andreas, did you have a good carnaval? Yeah, man, still hangover. It's a good life, the yacht, the parties, the girls. But there's a price. Time to show Councilman Peral the appreciation. The traditional suitcase full of unmarked bills? That's it. A sign of respect to a powerful man. I usually handle this, but this time, I want you to do it. You should meet him face to face. You should look into his eyes to see what you're going to be dealing with one day. Sounds good. Assuming that you're sticking around long enough to ever see him again. What do you mean? Forget I said it. See you later. Hey, Anna. I think Andreas know about me leaving the gang and he's cool with it. He knows you want to quit the assassinos. Jesus, he's going to kill you, stupid fuck. Look, baby. I have to go. Cry like a bitch. Hey, you watch it. Nothing well, personal. Councilman on the take? You got your money. Have a nice life, Godsucker.
job. The costume me just called, says you are punk, <laughs> and he would like me to please kill you as a favor to him. The guy smelled like a woman, like he took a sponge bath and perfume. You can't take him seriously. Anyhow, you know the man, sir? Yeah, I've heard of him. The syndicate banger who ripped off her chop shop. You want me to find him? I already did. Well, Marcel found him. Head over to the Boone Dance Club. Hey, you dented my car! Sorry, didn't see you. What the fuck you looking at? Shut your cock holes to you payasu! Hey, Raul, Andrea says you get to do the honor. Kill this guy. Don't buy no green bananas, Raul. The syndicate's got a bounty on you, and someone's going to collect. Just a matter of time. Raul, you fucking uni. Excuse me. Everyone knows your pussy whip. Literally. What the fuck, man? Hey, Fomo. What? Hang on. Marcel, I don't know who we just killed, but Venancio's at the beach. Fomo's looking right at him. When Andrea hears this, he's going to shit a duffel bag full of tarantulas. Nice car, I'll take it. We checked it out, and it's true. Veronica Davo put out a contract on you and Nana. Caralho! Yeah. Time to get out of town. Get out of town? Look, yo. Everyone knows that you was already planning to quit the gang. Andreas. You gotta pass, Raul. Ego te absolvo and all that. But first, you take care of something for me. Okay, name it, I'll do it. Davos' brother, Jaime, has been a thorn in my side for years. A good smack would teach him a lesson. But whoever beats him up, he syndicate's going to put a price on his head. Since they're already after me? Exactly. I heard his chilling at the samba drum. Do it, then get out of here.
Sorry, didn't see you. Instead of wasting time with these trivial issues, a governor should be concentrating on the real needs of the population. And when I say population, I mean Trying corporations. To cup a field? What about small, family-run, multinational megacorporations like Brasoline? Last year, Brasoline was nearly forced to pay taxes. To make matters worse, Franco's government blamed them for that. I'm glad they are going to kill you, you piece of shit. Just to buy them. Baby, I'm on my way to pick you up. I'll be waiting. I heard you smack shine good. See? You are a real man. We're leaving in town. It's over. Andreas knows. You pussy! You fucking bitch! I'm the man here. You can't talk to me like that. Oh, please. I'm twice the man you'll ever be. Look, damn it. I'm not getting my head blown off for a kilo of cheap heroin cut with baking powder. I'm not going to have someone come gunning for you to try to get to me. That's not how I'm gonna live my life. I'm through with this gang bullshit. I want a life. A family. Don't you want children? I want money, power, the clubs, the beach, the parties. This is as good as our life will ever be. You want me to give up on that? To live in some shitty condo and squeeze out a bunch of screaming kids and clip fucking coupons? Palhaço, you make me sick. Oh no, wait! She was killed, but someone saw the explosion and dragged you out. You were badly burnt. How... how long was I out? You've been under for two months. I hired a doctor and she induced a coma. She had to do some skin grafts, plastic surgery. You look different now. They killed my Anna. Maria, sir, who did it? Could have been one of the rival gangs, or one of the assassinos, or the cops, or Councilman Peralta. A lot of enemies. But I'm a friend. How is a stripper going to help me get my revenge? I hear things at the club. Just pretend to be new in town and get back into your gang. I'll get all the info I can, and you can find out who killed your girl. What's in it for you? You. Your help. But later, for now, you need a new name. I'm a dead man. Call me... Angel. Assassin, new guy. What's your name again? Angel. Right, Angel. Time to prove that you've got what it takes to be a part of this organization. Who do I have to kill? No, sir. You're a psychopath. <laughs> Good. No killing. But you do have to put the fear of death into someone. I can do that. My right hand man, Marcel, is being investigated by a state prosecutor. It's turning into a problem. The prosecutor is over at the scout house. I'll put the fear of God into him. 
what I expect from a man named Angel. Don't cry like a bitch. Don't shoot. Who the hell are you? Where's my chauffeur? Dented my car. Drop the case against Marcel. Fine, it's over. All charges will be dropped. Just let me go. Andreas, it's done. Nice. I might have some more work for you later on. Stay in touch. What up, buddy? They call me Nahku. I don't know why. The disciples, man. They pulled a the drive-by on our territory. Killed one of our dealers. Time to retaliate. I'm down for that. Where? The shooter, Fulor, hangs out of his pawn shop. Geoloft? That's the one. Fulor chills out there. And if he sees a girl by a vibrator, then he figures she's lonely. And he asks her out. Wait, does that work? You could ask him yourself, I suppose. Except that you have to kill him. Ordinarily, I'd suggest a Colombian necktie or a Venezuelan cummerbund. But for this, just a drive-by, nothing special. Great working with you. 